Hello everyone, welcome. It is about that time again. It is, uh... Oh, for fuck's sake. Send me shit on Facebook. Spread this around! No, fuck off. Um, it is tea time. Hope everyone's doing well. Everyone's doing just grand. Let's, uh, let's go see how everyone's doing. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here. We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Uh -huh. Surface regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. Well, well. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. <laughs> uh... So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Okay. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda. Okay, we've Jay had this. Wait. We've had it's that. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no Moving on. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Thanks, Joker. I don't like that he keeps looking at people for a while after you finish talking with them. Have we spoken to Kelly yet? Hey, Kelly. Hey Kelly, hey hey Kelly, how you doing? Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Marvelous. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Uh, okay. I better go. Never mind. Okay. Maybe we'll talk. I later. should go. Messages, healing. Of your facial scars. Chief Medical Officer Chakwas, Commander. I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring, and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitude and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is special equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing. Regardless of your mental outlook, I've updated plans for the new medical uh, equipment to your research terminal in the tech lab. In other words, if you're a paragon your face will heal if you're not it will get worse and you'll get really shiny okay that costs shit I don't have so bye I didn't talk to Edie I should probably go talk to Edie do 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 Hello. Yes, Shepard. Uh, I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Uh, how are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> okay. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Uh, okay. When is an airlock not an airlock? When it's a jar. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Just want to check my models. See how it's looking. Because I know I picked up a few on Omega. Ah, uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. The collection grows. That's it. That's all I wanted to come up here for. Moving on. Uh, right, what do you guys have to say? It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. It's probably wise. Afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. That's nice. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Yes, yeah, that's, that's awfully kind of them. Okay, you guys got nothing to say. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. 
But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because well, he wants me to be. No, you report to me gave first. You a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. Not that you're bitter about the whole dynasty thing. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. I didn't tweet. We've both been me. engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. I'll keep this conversation going. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Where's my tweet? Where's my tweet? My tweet? Tweeted. Let's get my Twitch chat back up. Disconnected, connecting, connected. Cool. Cool. Right. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a nope. tool okay. to you. Had that one. I like you to are who you are, Miranda. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. Shut You've up. told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. Oh, so you were literally How created. Be. The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Any time, Commander. She was she was literally created. She never had a mother. That's interesting. <clears throat> how, how, how are you doing? How can I help you, Commander? Uh, do, 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 nope, nothing. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. What is this I can investigate? Like, the AI core? Where, where is that? Or is that just... Oh, it's, uh, in there. Is that just the door? Yeah, it's just the door. Hello, Chakwas. Look oh, what I've I got! I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Sure. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Alenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, "That was awesome!" <laughs> oh, ah, Jenkins. Jenkins, the first to die Soldiers on this like him make the great series. Great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. 
As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Rolick syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or hell. Maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that? I'll drink to that. Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. Ah, yes. Hab oh, she's out. She, she, <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. A little bit wobbly. The walk, anim the walk animation doesn't change, but no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I can, I can still move around. She's fucking gone. Hello, Zaid. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute? You might learn something. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus <laughs> operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. Oh, keep that in mind. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives them mad. I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Sounds good. It's a cube. Goodbye, cube. Farewell. Goodbye. I love all the random little shit you can interact with. Oh, yeah. That's a model of the Varakan. <laughs> Turian frigate. Hell yes, I recognize I let a mission it as Turing. bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Fair. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jessie. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. It'd be cool if we could, like, do something to repair that rifle. Beauty, isn't it? <clears throat> Right Is that Krogan? Krogan Warlord, yeah. Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. Nice. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Fair. It's a little concerning that you have surveillance in several different parts of the ship, but I'll uh, I'll let that slide. See you later. Open my fucking door. All right, guys. I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? Oh, I'm giggity. I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. Jesus Christ. You're such a dog. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. 
We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion Five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion Five's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. You guys just got played. Ha! <laughs> be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. Yeah, neither can I. So worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. What can we do for you, Commander? Nothing, Very apparently. Well, do, Commander. Okay, that's it for now. Alright. I'm going to head to the Citadel. Go talk to Anderson, buy that food for the chef. Um, go to the mass relay. Ooh, we've never been to either of these. Imagine how that must look to people on uh, the wards, <clears throat> seeing a massive version of the Normandy fly past. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Doesn't that belong to... but isn't he... Oh, uh, I guess I'll bring Miranda and Jacob. Sounds like a ship from Star Wars. Look at my rocket launcher. I look so intimidating. Commander that. Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Uh, I will do your thing in a minute. I want to go see Anderson first. Try look, look, keepers, they're still here. Commander Shepard, we have the finest companions waiting for you. Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute. Petite. The Destiny Ascension has completed its twenty colony victory cruise. Okay. Council members aboard, thank you. This is the greatest thing to listen to. Twenty kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest-class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38-kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. Fucking that love it. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. How, how did how did that happen? Can I help you, sir? I want to know, like, what happened that caused... It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. That. Security seems to have tightened a bit. 
After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Oh, it's been a couple I've of years since just, a few minor just asked that. Assumptions are dangerous. Thanks for your time. Next. Right. I'll actually uh, deal with this now. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Well, there's a reason Even for that. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me. So I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission. And were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Okay. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in. And I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Oh. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. Sounds good, I'm in. Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. It was your idea. You made me look silly. Wow, security's really gone Obviously up. Obviously security has tightened since you were last here. You wanna let me in, bud? Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. Well, kind I was of. only mostly dead. Try finding that option on government paperwork. <laughs> we need to get that cleared up for you. Why don't you talk to my captain? He's just beyond the scanners on the right. Sounds good to me. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried <laughs> about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Hello, Bailey. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? 
We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. Two. Two years. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. That's fair. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. Good. That I had better said, things to you do. You should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. It's kind of why the I'm council here. Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Okay. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. Naturally. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. <sighs> Down there are here, still poodles drugs, in this universe? Organized crime and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rule book. I need to talk to the council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Tali? Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Makes sense. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. See ya. Oh my God, Avina! Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. Your voice this is different. This is the Kara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Nice. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. I need to talk to the Council. How can I reach the Presidium from here? Public transit shuttles are available on the far side of the CSEC security cordon. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a... Of course you don't. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth. 
a known enemy. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos <clears throat> of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. Cool. That's, That's where I'll go now. then. Thank you for using Avena. Let's go shopping. Welcome to Citadel News Den. I'm Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human out... Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the Council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. Well, we offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. <laughs> Accuse her of classism, Jesus Christ. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness, I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Saren? You are Shepard? My how, goodness. How do you not know that? The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. You're going to be hearing that a I lot on the Citadel. I will get my clerical well. VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Hamster! Yoink. Fish. Hey look, it's yours SR1. Take that. Destiny Ascension, take that too. Okay, now you have nothing left. Bye. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? God, there's a lot of shit around here. Um, I will come back here. I'm going to go and see the council first. Uh, Presidium. I don't know if there's any other way to get to the Presidium. Hey, buddy. Look at the Elko Wall. This would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper, Sovereign. And you know it. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Oh, of course you have. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. You guys are dumb. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Uh, sorry you're late, bathe, child, bathe, dog, mowed lawn, you're shattered now. It's fine. It's fine. Go back to Ilos and talk I've to done Rachel. nothing. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram I got out of bed Ilos before no the afternoon, function. so there and is we that. we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I guess I'm on my own. Again. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero, 
I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise. Not a public acknowledgement, given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Reinstatement? What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. Reinstatement? We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Reinstatement. What, as if I was fired? No, no, you guys I suck. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You Whoa, realize Miranda. the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually... <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say to that. That was really funny. <laughs> Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. <laughs> She's still there. <laughs> don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them <laughs> off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the terms. Backs systems. to him now. How rude. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to Ooh, cover for that me. That was funny. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? I'm here because the fate of humanity is at stake. That's what you should care about. All you soldiers think alike. You charge headfirst into a problem with no regard for the long-term consequences. I make the decisions around here, Udina. Your job is to clean up the mess I leave behind. Understand? Of course, Counselor. Given the potential size of this one, I'd better get started. I'll be in my office. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. <laughs> Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. Must have been great. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days... They've made it seamless. <laughs> Just we leave it to them. them as heavy lifters, and I have no <laughs> idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. Ah, uh, you can tell me. Anymore. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Now the wall is giving. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. 
But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just okay. Oh. Do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Oh, I'm very aware. Don't worry. I'm, I'm painfully aware of this. I like how you've rearranged the place. It looks nice. Okay, back to uh, where were we? Uh, the dock, I think. Yeah, the dock. Uh, right. That. Eh, that'll do. I can't move my camera. Can't move my camera. Can't, can't move my camera. Send help. Send help. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to uh, just sort of wing it for now. Um, right. So <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. Uh, do 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 do. If we go to the right, I guess, or left first. There's a cafe. It's around here somewhere. Nope, this is CSEC. This is uh, right. I'm never, never taking a fast travel point again. I hear I... this is the best place for food on Zakara. Uh, uh, you heard wrong. Uh, this is the best uh, place for food on uh, the damn city. Come on. Whew. Get there. Whew. Turn in the camera. Real fucking slowly. Oof. Fine. Oof. Fine. I just need to pick up some spices. There we go. Oof. I agree provisions. That's what I'm looking for. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know what this is for, but I'll take it. And I'll take that too, because there's only five credits each. Ooh. Okay. I still don't have control over the camera. You don't mix your spice corality. Kind of, what uh... cooking school did you say you went to? Hoped that would fix it. Right, let's go this way. If I can sort of I just want something tasty figure out Why don't you just go to fish dog food? what's over there. That's an advertisement. Ooh, this is uh, this is an interesting bug. Gotta give real sweeping movements just to turn the camera slightly. Okay, down here. Let's go down here and see, see what's around. Oof. 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 Turning and turning and turning back. Uh, what's all this? What do you guys? What do you guys do? What do you have? Oof. Hello. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used. I already have a ship. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Okay. Maybe if I talk to someone, it'll fix the camera. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. This area looks a little run down. I take it the people here aren't very well off? Inhabitants of the wards typically have less income than those in the Presidium. There must be some way to solve the problem. Asari futurists believe poverty cannot be eliminated without cornucopia technology, which will create anything the user desires. Such I'll, I'll take one. Unknown outside of science fiction literature. Why are there warehouses in the middle of a shopping district? This area is close to Zakara Ward's keel docking station. Freighters attach there to load passengers and supplies. Goods are stored locally until they can be distributed within the ward or transported off the station. However, CSEC recommends that visitors exercise caution, as these short-term warehouses are often used to move illegal goods. What sort of things are sold here? The CERTA Foundation, a medical technology group from the Alliance, has an outlet store. Sarinus Applications offers professional software. That's all for Sounds now. Sounds good. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant nope, day. Nope, still kind of broken. This Cladless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? Bear with me. I'm going to see if I can fix this camera problem. Uh, it'll be an input, not key bindings. Camera sensitivity. I'll just jump on that back. Nope. Nope, it's just broken. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. 
She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, <laughs> Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah. <clears throat> Got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. Yeah, that blew your fucking mind, didn't it? You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... Talizora well, Naraya? You I might know, know the name? I anyone here would do that for one of us. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a You've cover been watching for too much TV. your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Racist git. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? Did you check? I didn't even buy anything there. That shit stayed in my pocket. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. That won't be necessary. I will resolve I'll this see issue. If I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. Bah. All we can <laughs> to resolve this. Bah. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Bah. My camera's broken. Why is it so slow? Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the Listen here. A refund and exchange now. It's to pick up a new uh, It's a warehouse. Ooh. It took me a long time to get this Same refund. Man. It's a decision on the jail. He said there'd be one. Hello. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. No. Just not nosy enough. You'd get anywhere because you'd... Uh, keep stopping to eavesdrop. Yeah, but right now my camera's broken, so... A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? I can't and really I scan around like I usually do. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Although I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires a sari to work their store. Really? You're not sure? You're not sure? I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite my shop on the here. Citadel. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. That's two. Thank you. Medijal capacity, life support webbing. Let's get both. This might be useful. 
I'm gonna run out of money before I finish here. Turn, 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 turn. Keeper! Turn, 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 turn. This is so bad. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion. I thought you knew. What? No. All I heard Varanis say was, pick up a module. I love the vault, uh, Elko. Welcome to Saranus Applications. <clears throat> Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. Most of them I don't. thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. Everyone's inside except the dog. She's sprawled out on the lawn sunbathing. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. Yeah, it's it's pretty fucking warm outside. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. Ouch. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. Yeah, right. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Well, that solves that issue. You find the whole, I'll endorse you because I'm Commander Shepard and I'm awesome thing rather creepy. You know, well, I use not, quite a bit of not really. In my line of work. It's a good way for me to get a so discount. You understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nav interfaces anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. People are that just fickle splendid. enough to think, Oh, Commander Shepard's shop, sir. Right away. Thank you so much. So, I should shop here, so I get a discount for getting him more... Jesus Christ, suddenly everything's expensive. So much for discount, fuck you, man. Turn! Turn the camera! Hi. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well, the Quarian could have stolen it. Oh, I'll shut close up. this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? How about you try? You think you're gonna run in a specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I you mean, can edit that and set it up right away. Yeah, especially as, like, shelter. there are three can shops now that have Commander Thanks. Shepard saying that this is his favorite store on the Citadel. Hey, she paid me for it. <laughs> Using the Volus's credit shit, no doubt. Oh man, the Citadel looks great out that window. Let's go over to the other side and... Uh, do my shopping over there, see if there's anything good. How about I run you? Presidium fish would taste like... I'm telling you, there are no fish up there. I hear an Erdnaut went up there once. <laughs> an Erdnaut on the Presidium. That'd be the day. Yeah, his name was Rex. <sighs> Tad, camera. This is this is exhausting on my wrist. Hello. What can I do for you? 
I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like c -Sec, can walk out with them. Sounds good. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You are getting See far it. too into this. Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. Okay. Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Can I have everything Just for free? Towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store. How about a 99% uh, discount? Uh, no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. There are three other shops on the Citadel that do, though. Ooh, goodness. Everything is still expensive. Buy what I can, move on. I'm sure we'll come back another time. Bip. 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 <clears throat> Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has What's that next to me? Uh, it's the Dark Star Lounge. There's a comm terminal, rapid transit. Who do I ask about the fish? Who do I... Oh, God. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. I'm sure they do. Kalees have been seen in Algeland. I Let's know who you are. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, your news again. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. Hmm. Saving everyone only happens in vids. There will be sacrifices. Being in charge means making sure they lead to the greater objective. That's a reality shared by all soldiers, in command and on the ground. Don't you dare suggest I made that call lightly. I didn't mean to accuse... You're damn right you didn't. I won't let you disrespect anyone who gave their life that day. They're heroes. All of them. They deserve better than you. Yeah. Commander Shepard. First human specter. Don't you look Hero stupid? Of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Ha. <laughs> okay, maybe there's something in the Dark Star Lounge. I might take a rapid transit again just to see like if to it in? fixes this Thank camera problem. What is with the Shepherd? Sort your fucking head out. Fucking journalists, yeah, I know, right? Oh, hello. Then I can do for you. I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs, the Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the woods. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese gift shop. 
When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in? No, oh, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Thanks for that. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the Demile flowers that cross from the continent. Where's that talk to Miranda thing? There it is. Looking for a little R and R shepherd? It's a nice enough place. My Not nicer than Cora's den anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never really up together. My favorite thing is that at the top of the screen, the interact says dance with a question mark because this is what happens did he say downstairs from the bar or did he mean like Citadel souvenirs there. You probably meant that souvenir shop. Get down with your funky self. <clears throat> Is there anywhere else of note? Uh, I guess not. Let me take a rapid transit. See if it fixes fixes my camera. Oh. Jacoby. It's been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone. Comforting to some people, I guess. Living in denial that all this could end. Hey, it's fixed. What do you want? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? <laughs> I told you. I just blew that Krogan's mind. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. I blew that guy's mind. He's never going to be the same again. Okay, I think that's uh, that's everything on the Citadel for now. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, done that. Uh, I think I'm going to go and recruit Archangel next. Uh, yeah, let's go and recruit Archangel next. I think those loyalty missions have. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. Um, they have like Paragon Renegade checks, so I'll do them when I've built them up a little bit more. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Anything else? That Kasumi is an oh. interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Where will they put Kasumi? Like, where on the ship? Uh, ah, Samesh Bhatia. Commander Shepard, Mr. Udino offered to pass on a message for me. I wish to uh, again express my thanks for your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. While nothing can ever banish the pain of losing Nirali, being able to see that her body was treated properly helped me uh, more than you can imagine. 
I've opened the restaurant that my wife always wished to start back on Earth. Nirali's picture hangs on the wall. The and Alliance soldiers eat for free. It is the best. It is the least I can do to honor their courage, uh, with which both you and my wife have served humanity. Sincerely, Samesh Bhatia. Uh, things are quiet again. From the Omega Clinic desk, Commander. I want to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solis's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was uh, keeping in check. How bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. Thanks. Daniel. Right, let's go see if we can find Kasumi. I imagine she's on the crew's quarters. I need to hand in this food as well. Uh, ah. That wasn't open before, so I'm going to assume she's in here. Ah. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. People are talking out there. <clears throat> and I hear it all. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. You are facing away from the window. Yes, Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. People think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. I think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ruin ramen. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Yeah, don't steal anything. I'll come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I can just pour some liquor. And the blue one. It's fizzing. This where he just passes out. Oh wow. Is that like a game station? Sounds like it's playing a video game. I just ruined your day. Oh, fuck you. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single Red Rose. How cliche. It wasn't until I met KG that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a yeah, why, why, why else would you steal it? Look at it. Facts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. That's my favorite piece. Painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG used to find relate. books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. That painting has a special place in my heart. Yeah, who'd you steal the it off of? The collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. All without damaging That's it? KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. It's uh, pretty impressive. Right, let's uh, give the chef his food. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. You're most welcome, I'm sure. Need 
feed my fish. Yeah. Look, I have the SR1 and the SR2. Yeah. <gasps> Hamster! Squeak! I didn't know this was here. Floosh. I've got two different visors now, I think. Yeah. It's a shield regeneration chest. It does health. Uh, damage and shield strength. That one does power, so I'm going to stick with that one. Weapon damage. Jesus Christ. arms. It doesn't really change much. Sprint speed. Okay. Health. Shields and heavy weapon capacity. Uh, I'll just stick with shield strength. Stick with the classics. No messages for you, Commander. Great. Actually, before I go back to Omega and recruit Archangel, there's another thing I, I should do. Where the fuel thing comes in. <laughs> yeah, it's any good. not really much point unless it's rich, otherwise you'll be scanning for fucking ever. Here is a. I have detected an anomaly. Hey, this place is rich. I know, like, my objective is here, but still. Probe launched. Use some iridium. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Probe away. I have found something. Okay, but can I keep scanning? Cool. Palladium, really not hard to come by. Like anywhere on this game. Hey, there we go, Iridium. This thing dry. Away. Probe 
launched. Probe launched. Gonna run out of probes at this rate. Ooh. Hello. Uh, I think there might be one more because I think it goes down to depleted, doesn't it? This might be it. Yep. There it is. Right. This is uh, this is planet feels in the system sadness. Twenty of these to collect. <clears throat> ah, those were good times. this with a power yes ah <clears throat> oh, no sadness Poor Ashley. <sighs> Bummer. I'm not going to place the monument over the memory of Ashley. What a waste of a monument. Ooh, what's that? I'll take some easier. I was going to say, oh hey, it's my shuttle. Thinking that we had a shuttle back in Mass Effect 1. We didn't. We had that piece of garbage over there. Useless pile of junk. Come on, give me the flashback. There it is. Hopefully won't take too long. You get sort of a nice chunk of experience anyway. As you uh, collect each one, rounds up quite nicely. Right, 
or rather adds up quite nicely I should say. As useless as it ever was. They probably couldn't drive out of that situation. It 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 would be stuck there, even if it worked. Isn't there a flashback related to this though? Yep. Zero. I want it. Jesus, Shepard, you really need to work on your cardio. Their dog tags just sitting in crates anyway. What even is this thing? I have no idea what this is. Maybe it's a thruster? I don't know. <clears throat> oh, hey, my helmet. I was worried that my uh, phone had disconnected from the chat. Let's grab my old helmet. Nice timing of that shooting star. Okay. Uh, journal of Navigator Presley. Unrecoverable data. Uh, data recovered. Spoke to the commander about this. I all these damned aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced ship. I just don't trust them. It's that damned Asari and a Quarian. What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? I think I'm in charge, that's what I think. Uh, unrecoverable data, blah blah blah, data recovered. With the Quarian. It seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage, trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. I will babysit my children or anything, but if she has to be on board, I suppose that's not too bad. Unrecoverable data, blah blah blah, data recovered for a while now. And I'm taking a look back at past entries in this journal. I... how blind I was at the time. I came on this ship, firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way he, uh, we could have accomplished what we did without them. I am proud to say die for any member of this crew, regardless of what world they were born on. Rather glad he's dead. Ah yes, his redemption, when he stopped being a racist after Mass Effect 1. <laughs> Because that last entry was definitely written after we finished the game. Okay, so I'm missing four dog tags. I'm missing three dog tags. <clears throat> Two dog tags. I can count. Uh, Yeesh. where things are presented as somewhat of a problem. There are now pineapple Jaffa cakes. That sounds disgusting. And I no longer wish to, to, to have this information in my, in my brain. Okay, there's 
no map. And lime ones? That doesn't sound too bad. I would try that. I wouldn't try the pineapple ones. That's just wrong. Um, but the lime ones, that's, that, that sounds okay. Oh, there's one. Yeah, you put the lime in the Jaffa cake and eat it all up kind of thing. hate when I miss just one. Like, if I'm going through and I manage to collect them all as I'm going through, that's fine. But when you just miss just one, it's such a pain in the ass. Oh, found it. There we go. Problem solved. I'll put the, uh, the monument by the CIC. Let me. It will. Cool. It's so sad. <laughs> This planet is where Mass Effect 1 died. The monument has been placed at the last resting place of the SSV Normandy on Alchira, and the families of all missing crew members have been notified of their ultimate sacrifice. Shepard's lost N7 helmet was recovered. 200 experience, some element zero, some money. We're good. We're good. We are good. And I will show you guys where the helmet can be found. Commander, you've received a new oh message at your private terminal. Why am I so popular? Uh, from Admiral Hackett, Commander Shepard. The Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site, and we've sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you have prov provided peace of mind to a lot of people. Commander, I thank you on their behalf. I thank you for thanking me. Plus, we've got to keep these fish fed, otherwise they will die. No, they're not bugged. They're not like floating out of the uh, out of the fish tank. If people think fish float like swimming to the top of the tank is a glitch, then they're fucking stupid. What else are fish gonna do when there's food dropped into their tank? Uh, there it is. Nope. There it is. My recovered N7 helmet. Messages for you, Commander.
Okay. Back to Omega. Oh, can I skip this? Thank God. That's a long cutscene to watch every time. Sleeping well lately. Let's take Zaid and and Morton. What a ragtag team! <laughs> I don't think I've ever played with your weapons. I think you're fine as you are, though. And for you, I don't know which sniper rifle is better. <clears throat> oh, that's a burst sniper rifle. Fuck that. You can keep him at it. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Excellent. Knew he could do it. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay, that's where we'll go next. Uh, how am I doing monetarily? Uh, 34,559. Just double check I can't. Because I think there was a shop that I went to first time I came here and I couldn't buy everything. Um, just double check that that's still the case. I don't know if it was Ken Salvage. It is Ken Salvage and I still can't buy anything. Okay. Uh, move. Come on, let me in. job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. Oh, really? A named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this. Got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. Sounds fair. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. I guess I'm doing this first. I'll go down there in a second. Isn't there a... Yeah, there's an Anto over here. You want to talk? Okay. Okay. Hold on, that's a familiar name. Commander Shepard? Is that you? I I'd heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I yes, no, I remember. You'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. One's a criminal, always criminal, eh? Oh, no, Commander. I retired. 
I know better than to go back on my word with you. Even though I was dead for two years? I turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. I... Uh, what? That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. And if you skim a little off the top, no one's the wiser, right? Please, Commander, there's no angle. It doesn't take a saint to see that people here are hurting. I can play Omega's game and maybe do some good around here. That's the only angle. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Hmm. Nice little throwback there. The fortune. Ruthless parasites on the hardworking men and women of Omega. If you've got fortune problems, there's only one thing to do. Hello, Father. You again. Greetings. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. You allow Arya to protect you like you're her pet? I thought you were a Krogan. Arya let me live. She gave me a position of honor as her advisor. She gave you a position of comfort as her trophy. Is that what you want? Or would you rather go down fighting? I wish she killed me the day she beat me. That would have been a glorious death. But perhaps it is not too late to die well. Perhaps these assassins will remember my name. What's your name again? Well, human. Thank you. Um. Well, that wasn't my objective. Oops. <clears throat> I kind of didn't realize that that's what would happen. I'm tempted to load and uh, sort that out. Yeah, just because it's not that far back. It was a very unclear option. Options unclear. Got Patriarch stuck in a. Never mind. I really wish Shepard could sprint for longer than he does. And the doors would open quicker. Job she needs doing. That depends upon Aria. Aria. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's you, problem? Some people don't appreciate What's Aria's hate? As long as he lives, he's a perfect Why come to me? Because Aria said so. People like Aria don't. If, it, if you're not on her payroll, so you helping I'll look into it. Come back here when it's done. I'll be back. Good luck. Job. Okay. Hey, Adrian. Would you go through my conversation with you again? I'm happy to remove two criminal warlords from power. What brings you to but Omega? I find this place. And now you're on oh, Omega. You convinced me to turn my life around. That seems like right? a hopeless job. Doing the good work in a place like this requires That's... no but you nope. convinced me. I picked a different thing, but well. Well, I'm glad Thank to hear. You. I have to go. Of course. By the way. 
You must have more important things. Slow down. We already went through this, but I picked the wrong choice in a mission. is no longer my concern. Um perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. That Here's one. an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could you could be my Krant, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Okay. I have no idea where they are, but okay. Hello. Of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. You're Patriarch's crant? I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. Whoa! Fire! Wow, I didn't even have to fight. That makes things easier. Okay, but I ducked the flamethrower. How didn't you two get hit? Forger adaptation oh. interesting. Not just biological, social as well. Urban area adapting to them in return. Large concentration. Hope they're controlled. If they attack, as happened near my clinic, casualties likely. Hmm. Can't tell if my computer's warm or not. Sort of that weird place between warm and not warm. Do, do, do. You killed them all, and everyone knows that the patriarch is not to be crossed. Say he just fireproof. Thanks That's fair. You, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy, a real advisor, maybe, or even a threat. Take care, patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way. Be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. I don't think I care what she wants. She is a means to an end for me. Do 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 do. Do do do. It that Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Well, uh, well. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. So, what's my reward? Do you need something else? It sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch, he was something different. A powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. 
We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. Wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Giggity. Superior intel, assassination. That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. Giggity. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. Did I know Ari was voiced by Trinity from The Matrix? Yes, I said that last uh, last stream. So yes, you kept him around as a trophy. I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting, but let's move on. Do you need something else? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? I'm going to avoid he your he's question. fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're going to make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble. And the Patriarch is voiced by Darkwing Duck from Darkwing Duck. I've, I don't know what that is. What kind of trouble? <clears throat> the local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Could be opportunity to get close. Need guns. Wait, no, have guns. Excellent. <laughs> We're halfway <laughs> there already. <laughs> Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I had no what childhood. You well, you're not wrong. Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. I've he just had a very different laws, one. Which everyone here does. He makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. Sounds like I don't have much time to waste. You've got all the time in the world. Archangel? Not so much. Uh, thanks, I guess. Why are you just sat there? I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get Oof. paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Uh, yeah, several. <laughs> my very different childhood, or how Cthulhu sucked out my soul when I was four. Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? They haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing, operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. 
What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. Nice, we're cannon fodder. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? <laughs> Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Sounds good to me. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, uh -huh. I just spent 50 credits on this pistol. 50 credits? Wanna... No way. Get your money back. Wait. Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Fifty credits for a pistol. That pistol was gonna jam on you, and you were gonna die. Down there. Uh huh. Anything about this? Uh. I was down there on a mission. The Vorcha were just in the way. Remind me not to get in your way. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line, keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about well, it. Well, there's a lot less of them now. To do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. Fair. I'll just be going. Nice sniper, Keep by the, the way. Good work. It's, uh, it's very pretty. Are you expecting... I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Okay. Rude. Guess there's no way to distinguish male and female vulture. They're like penguins. Um. Yeah, as far as I understand it, they, they there's pretty much no way to distinguish them. Oh, I completely forgot I had Kasumi. Let's just stick with the team we had. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. Yeah, I like to keep they that image up. We're up against. Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's gotta have suicide. Pretty much. Yeah. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard Most and get to the third fun America. missions are suicide. Dr. Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. 
If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job. I, I certainly hope not. not. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout. But they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down. But they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge, so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Well then. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Why doesn't anyone here like me? In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. I just want to be friends with people. Okay, there's no map here, just a objective compass. Nothing over there. Marks everywhere. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Sounds like a good idea. Ooh. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Be prepared. Rude. You need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. <clears throat> Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems what like did he do to you? For you? He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. Fair. So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Well, we're not gonna be Whether paid if we're dead. It's up to you. I'll get going. Good idea. <laughs> Message to Tarek. Tarek, I've spoken to Garm and he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've already taken, possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue on to the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organization would be ready to move on Aria without the assistance of the other two. Jareth, you guys are stupid. You guys are real dumb. Oh, hello. Money.
Targeting parameters reconfigured. That long down. That's going to be nice. so much fun. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell up. Friend or foe. I didn't do it. Hey guys. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. Only slightly. And he's brave till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. <clears throat> but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection. I suppose that shouldn't surprise removed. me. Talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us, and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men, and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. You fought him? He tried to take me down once. Oh, Waited till let's I was just alone. reuse this dialogue. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. I should get going. About time. Why not just send the blood pack in first? They're supposed to be the muscle, which means they'll likely succeed. And if they don't, then there's less Vorture for people to look at. Ooh. Hmm. I'm not worried. Oop, there goes another shot. <laughs> Why does that vulture think he's going to hit him with an assault rifle from all the way over here? You are stupid. Yeah. I'm just taking all of this gang's money. Oh, bye. I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, pal. He's over there working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll be right back. Good luck. Watch out! Oof! Rip. Gathka? Then get out of my way. With your stupid hair. Sergeant Kafka. Oh my god, it's a Batarian. I don't know why I didn't expect that. Uh, you must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. So the bridge is the only way in? 
until the gunship's working again or the blaster's finished with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Makes sense. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. If they trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel Haven't seen Tarek. gave her a beating last time she was out there. In a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? <clears throat> I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of it. Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got Bye, Bravo team. waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. Well, gunship's not gonna get to 100% now. Archangel is in trouble. Not much time. What the hell are we waiting for? Come on. We'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Eyes up front. Boom! He's with Archangel. Yes, he is. Gotcha. Anyone else? What's this? Uh, okay. Sealed door, that's fine. Shitload of medkits. Nothing with any monetary value. Ooh, hello. I'll take. Hey, there's Watch the monetary value. Uh, I think that's everyone. Archangel. Shepard. It's Garrus! I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mugs is hard work, especially on my own. You nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. 
If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. That's fair. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Again. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. Just waiting doesn't seem like a good option. Got any other suggestions? This place has held them off so far. And the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. It's Garrus with a high-resolution face this time. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. Pew! More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You? You can do what you do best. Charge in Just there and like get killed. Time, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything. Okay, well, before we give these bastards everything we've got. You guys can listen to this uh, battle music while I go and prepare myself a nice fresh cup of tea. And uh, I will be back soon. Enjoy the break. Let's fight. Uh, the M15A of Indicator Battle Rifle acquired. The following squad members are able to use this weapon. Zaid. Take him out then. Ready for takedown. That's a rocket launcher. I'm running out of ammo. Anyone else? <laughs> I think they're both the same. Flammable and inflammable. Get the ammo! Yeah. It wasn't worth it. 
It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Burst. Oh, snap freezes targets. No good against shields, I guess. God damn. That shotgun. Let's try and get in a bit closer. This is quite the pickle. Oh, my sound sort of went for a second there. I think it was because of the rocket hitting nearby. <clears throat> I am losing ammo rapidly. Hey, we did it. You want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Yeah, let's see how you guys handle this. Go. Online. Sending out the heavy nets. That problem should take care of itself. <laughs> <laughs> Let it do its thing. Start taking it down as well. It is kind of our enemy. Uh, 
more than kill it. I should have left that mech alive a bit longer. Oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want either. There we go. You are shooting me through a wall. This is nonsense. Holy crap. I might die here. Oh, no, I'm good. Nice shot. Anything else? Looks like that's all of them. Come find me before they regroup. Okay, let me just grab some of the ammo. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Neutralized all the hostiles. Oop, my uh, webcam is off. There we go. I'm coming, I'm coming. We'll go over here before I talk to you. Not sure why my weapon just came out, but alright. Sapling okay, man. Ass, Shepherd. They barely touched me, and we got Jareth in the process. Been hunting that little bastard for months. What were you after? He's been shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side. Heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Sounds problematic. Yeah, no shit. Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Zaid, stay with Gears. Keep him alive. Roger that. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Kill Down some fuckers, Zaid. The basement door's on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Alright. Okay. Battle rifle favored by assassins and elite mercenaries that fires highly accurate five round bursts and can be pulsed for rapid fire. Deadly at any range and effective against armor shields and battle barriers upgrades the Avenger. Oh, automatic is a semi automatic. The assault rifle's low heat production sniper rifle's punch, so it doesn't have a sniper rifle's precision. Uh, it's lack of a full auto setting is advertised as a feature rather than a shortcoming since it curbs the soldier's tendency to spray an accurate fire unless under stress. I think that suits him better. And uh, we'll keep him with the mantis. Right, Morden. Let's go kill something. Go, 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 go! Ten seconds, really? Oh, I'm glitched. Okay, this... That worked just fine. Working on it. Fuck your cover. This isn't what I want. Where's my... There it is. Contact. 
I'm a bit busy at the minute. Ah. Oh my god, it's a Baron. That was horrifying. I'm on it. Garrus is the Archangel and here you're expecting Udina. Man, if Udina was the Archangel it would have blown my mind. Good job, Morden, you just cryoblasted me. You mean closed. You mean you mean closed. I'm gonna die because I've been stun locked by this fire. <clears throat> Throws. They're complete vanguard killers. Yes, well, I, I have a problem of my own here. Got it. God damn it. Engaging target. Shut down. Please close. Close, close, close while he's there. Close while he's there. Haha, -ha, fuck you. Fun fact, the same guy did the animations for me too in AC3. Oh, I didn't realize. They're so different. Move. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Also Uncharted 4. That's pretty good. The animations for Uncharted 4 were very well done. Get ready to fight. Oh, got him. Okay. Okay, they can stay up there. For now, while we deal with this, these guys. Storm's got me pinned down. Yep, I'm aware. Hello. Please die.
Aha! You won't take me alive. That's fine. I'm already here. Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through. They should have just reused the animations from ME2 and ME3. I thought they did. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. I still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortune showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting Movement, us to running, and all that room. stuff was new. All right, okay. Look out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of it. Offloading troops. Watch your back. <laughs> Who the fuck is Jentha? And a legionnaire. Ow. Come on, health. through the armor. And so will Morden. There we go. The repelling down the side wall, ground floor. Okay, going down. Oh, that's not what I want. Can't target them. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. So the cool thing about charge is it partially restores barriers. You two want to get down here? Commander Shepard encounters Jentha while on a mission to recruit Arch Archangel and Edgy Tarek directs Shepard to Jentha after the commander asks him about front freelancer's mission. Jentha gives Shepard a background on the Blue Suns also... Oh, okay. I guess I just missed Jentha. I missed Tarek too. An assault rifle that I don't have. I know exactly what's going to solve this problem. Yeah, run away, you coward.
Got him. Now I can. That was risky, but it worked. Garrus, no! Just hold on. Radio Ooh, Joker. Goggle. Make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Yes, he fucking is. What do you know, Zaid? Extracted Archangel from Mercenary Siege and recruited him for the team. Unclear whether injury to Archangel will impair his ability to assist the mission. Regardless, revelation of identity is Garrus Vicarian useful in keeping Shepard comfortable. New battle rifle, some machine gun damage, some tech damage, credits, element zero, and standard sort of stuff. And we're done here. Imagine the backlash if they'd killed him here. Bioware would have would have collapsed. Under the weight of the rage. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The docs corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... But he's Shepard. missing half of his face. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot. I'm the one that got the Asari. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? Right now, they're a necessary evil. I need the resources to get this done. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Do some calibration. Take that. Uh, oh, it's a squad bonus. Cool. If it wasn't a squad bonus, I probably wouldn't have worried about it just yet. Grab that. Not sure how often I'll use it, but I'll grab it. Need a lot of platinum for that one. Prototypes. Nothing that looks like a nuke launcher. I don't even want to use that. I will get myself killed with those things. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. We all do, Kelly. We all do. Are you attracted <laughs> Leave to him species? alone. <laughs> well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay. I better go. Okay. 
She wants to hold him naked. Well, it is Garrus. Cerberus Command Request. Reports tell us you've been operating in the Omega Nebula. We'd like you to look into a situation on Lorak, a nearby planet in the Fathar system. Scan the planet for a base where we believe the Eclipse Mercs are holding one of our operatives. You should be able to detect the operative's transmitter. transmitter. Extract the operative. If the operative is beyond, if the operative is beyond rescue, recover any relevant intel to the Eclipse may have collected. This is a very delicate matter, Shepard. We trust in your discretion. Uh, you're not dead! From Emily Wong. You're alive! How come you broke whatever cover you've been under for two years but didn't offer an exclusive inter interview to your favourite reporter? Whenever you come up for air and are ready to talk, let me know. Uh, glad I didn't sign up. From John Whitson. Hey, Ari gave me the stress. I think I met you at the afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs who tried to take out Archangel. Man, I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the news feeds and saw that almost all the mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are or if you got out of there alive yourself, but thanks. I really felt stupid when I heard about the body count and how I could have been a part of it. I'll make the most of what with what you did for me. <laughs> I should go. My planet me needs me. Uh, is Shepard's mother alive? No, I don't believe so. I don't think he, it was in that backstory. Is there a way to check? Uh, no, I don't think so. Hadley, I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. Make sure the collectors pay for taking it. Grew up an orphan, it was mentioned in the news thingy. Yeah. Soul Survivor Orphan, I think is the origin I went with. Hey Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. <laughs> I assume everything is going well up here. That's it fair. Was That's a fair assessment. Started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Yeah, whatever. Self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pow. I win. <laughs> Joker. Right, right. No hard feelings. Good game. Good game. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. You get the impression there's been a lot of arguments in the cockpit late, late, uh, already? That's it for now. I think there's always you, arguments in the cockpit. Yes, Shepard. Uh, do, 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 do. You have nothing to say. Okay. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Right. Do, 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 do. Let's go talk to Jacobi. Check Garrus's uh, weapons. Oh, and Kasumi. I assume she's just pistols all around. Yeah. Uh, you can keep the phalanx. Uh, do, 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 Miranda, Jacob, Garrus, there he is. Uh, I kind of want you to have the Vindicator. And I definitely don't want you to have the incisor. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just. Have I been to Kasumi's room? Yes, I have. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. <laughs> you want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. You don't. You don't want to be my friend. Jacob. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. Did I get drunk? Else said that, I walk away. had one drink. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and, and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. There's a lot riding on this, but we can't give up everything. 
Not always a choice we get to make. Good to try, though. I gave it my best back in the Alliance. Got labeled a troublemaker. They were always on the lookout for disruptive types. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Let them watch. We're not hiding anything. Wouldn't matter if we were. It's not like they can reel us in. We're handling this, whether they like it or not. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Commander, can I help you with something? Oh. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Yes, please. I'll take it. Thanks, Jacob. Commander, can I help you with something? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. I had Anything this one already. Else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full comp. I had Anything this one else, already Commander? as well. Commander. Moving on. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Yes, please. What did you show? What, what is it? Is it the shield piercing? Is it, is, it a, is it a new prototype? It's a new prototype. Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Slow the fuck work down. Work genophage was more than just study. What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural Ouch. evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. He only has 40 years to live, give him some slack. I suppose that's true, Solarians do have a shorter lifespan. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of Genophage, released it onto Chanka, other Krogan centric areas, restabilized Krogan population. How did you distribute the modified Genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians onto Chanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your Genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. Hmm... I'm just going to go with the neutral I option here. I've told many people about this, Morton. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Okay. Wonder what's the deal with that thing around his neck? I was wondering that the last time I spoke to him. I assumed it was something scientific. Yes, eat my pretties. Eat! They'll literally die if I don't do, go and do that after every mission. <laughs> I 
eat and fly. No, they don't actually like go up beyond the fish tank. Another colony's gone missing. Ferris Fields, I heard. That's not far from New Canton. Did your family get back to Earth? Not yet. My mother-in-law's given us grief. Operative Lawson assures me the transport team will physically drag them away if need be. Miranda's good to her people. Hey, got a minute? Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you Gotta get Kelly different. to feed them ASAP. That's really nice. I imagine with all the I don't know how. Old friends are becoming a luxury. I think you have to romance her, don't you? Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. <laughs> more food and less ass. Soldiers are great. Commander, what can I do for you? <clears throat> Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. I want this! Need more iridium. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Oh, wow. Maybe another time. Fuck me then, I, I guess. Work. Of course, Commander. No, no. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck me. How about that? Just fuck everything. What's this area of the ship? The gunnery control station. The ship's batteries are controlled from here. The combat information center operators send targeting information here. The CIC decides who to shoot. It's me. Gunnery control decides how to shoot. Oh, okay. Uh, how's planet scanning? I only really go for ones that are rich in resources. Anything lower is just like, I'm going to be spending way too much time doing this. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Go scan Uranus. I've been considering you got it. Any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Oh. Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me, former military operatives. That's a lot bigger than I expected. Agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. The only way to get Garrus armor that's not broken is DLC? Yeah, I, I think I have it. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. 
Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. What did your Merc Squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega. Vigilantes, States. then. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. No, oh, bummer. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Nice. Do you know where Sedona's is now? <clears throat> no. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedona's. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Mass Effect 3 got alternate appearance pack 1, but there was no second pack. Maybe after all the backlash, they sort of released the director's cut ending and then just sort of abandoned Mass Effect 3. Or didn't... did they release the director's cut before or after all the, um... major DLC? I don't remember. Commander. I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you, but I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing, but I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now, what do you think? You wonder if Garrus' eyepiece was inspired by Dragon Ball Z? I think it just, it just fits his character. I don't think there's any other real reason for it. Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Sounds good. You were literally passed out on that bed over there. Just to, uh, just to embarrass you a little bit more. <clears throat> Hey, buddy. This mission takes me back. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. You and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Director's Cut was the second story DLC released uh, after From Ashes, and then they had Citadel and Leviathan, didn't they? Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hannah. A Hannah? Damn, Jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Hannah aren't we dangerous. We race for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hannah since. The last DLC to come out of uh, to come out was Genesis 2, weirdly enough, which was the comic recap thingy. I oh. should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Like the same thing that happened at the beginning of uh, my playthrough of this one. The new armor 
reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. I, I engines apologize. Engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizer. Hannah, I'm dangerous. That's what they want you to think. What can we do for you, Commander? Nothing. Well, I guess Commander. all of your dialogue is just like ambient conversation that I hear as I pass by. No real point to talk to you again in the future, I suppose. As harsh as that sounds. Alright, so what the f what the f what the f Oh, hello, level up. Uh Bum. Okay. What was that mission I picked up? Lost operative. Oh, I need to recover. Uh, return that as well. Um. A lost Cerberus operative is believed to be held in an eclipse base on planet Lorak. The operative may have sensitive data that if lost to the eclipse could cause irreparable damage to Cerberus. I guess we'll go do that first. Uh, Fatha system. Or Fatha. Or Fatha Fatha Fatha. In the Fatha 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 -fa -fa system. <laughs> Huzzah, all side missions feature unique bases. Hooray! A rich planet! I feel like it should have more than that. Or... I can just hit that. Plenty of platinum. Thing works. <laughs> Come on, where's the main source? I think that's as big as the spike's gonna get. If this wasn't so necessary, I absolutely wouldn't do it just because it takes so much time. Hooray! There's probably like one more vein somewhere. Such a small little thing, waste probes. Stop building me up with hope with little spikes like that.
today. Oh, uh, b -b 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 before I do this... Something else I have to do. the probe, see if we can find anything. Really? Commander? Yeah, really, Edie. Say it. Say it. <laughs> Give the people what they want. <laughs> For. We'll avoid that just for a second. This one's only good. I'm gonna waste time and probes on a good. Anomaly detected. Oh, this one's rich. Wow, let's find that immediately. Holy shit! Something on our sensors. Whew, that was loud and annoying. Did you hear? ED probed Uranus. Find planets that aren't just like full of nothing but palladium. Some element zero wouldn't go amiss, but you know. Onwards. Uh, 
Garus and Miranda. <clears throat> I'm so glad we don't have to drive the Maker around all these fucking planets anymore to find what we're looking for. Oh, that was the wrong one. Doo -doo. What's everyone using? Garrus, you may as well just use your sniper rifle, buddy. Change weapon. Oh, I just got warped. Powers, overload and concussive shot. Cool. I have a lot of overload all of a sudden. Subject ID. Uh, interrogator, Corporal Giro. Subject, Cerberus Agent Tyrone Rawlings. Eclipse targeted Agent Rawlings some time ago. We know Rawlings is connected to the encrypted data we acquired. The data could uh, conclusively prove Cerberus' involvement in Rachna experiments. We believe Rawlings possessed a cipher that can be used to decrypt the data. Without this cipher, the data could take years for Eclipse to decode. Uh, same interrogator, same subject. Agent Rawlings proved difficult to capture. Having insinuated himself on a ship bound for the Atacon Traverse, he had won over the loyalty of the ship's crew, who believed him to be a human dignitary on a mission of discovery. Our own agents managed to disable the ship and hobble its defences long enough to extract Agent Rawlings. We lost a lot of men to obtain this asset. This data had be better be worth the expense. Uh, the interrogation has failed. Despite some of our most advanced interrogation techniques, Agent Rawlings managed to evade our questions. When we applied more invasive methods, he proved resistant to those as well. Eventually, Agent Rawlings' resi resistance caused Tempest to flare. We consider it unfortunate that Agent Rawlings did not live to pass on the cipher. Well, mission over. Hello, Justice Reigns. We have men working to decipher the encryption now. As long as we control this data, its mere existence remains a powerful tool against Cerberus. That's it. They've killed him. There's nothing left to do. Oh, dear. You love this game? Yeah, it's really fun. Oh, I don't know what that was, but it was glowing and dangerous. So reposition. Fucking barriers. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, Moral. More palladium. I assume I'm supposed to go that way? Yep. Good. I wasn't sure if I could explore that room.
That was definitely one of the easier ones. Not a lot of credits in it though. I guess for a close quarters mission like this it would make more sense for Garrus to have his assault rifle. You got it. Usually I don't bother but when it comes to a sniper versus any other weapon it's kind of a big difference. Oh, that'd be the uh, uh, Cerberus operative. This computer contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Hmm. For the Alliance! Data uploaded to Alliance Command. Cerberus operative Tyrone Rawlings was found dead. Encrypted data transmitted to Alliance for decryption. Some experience, some money, some platinum. Let's move on. Anything I should know? You've received a new message at your private terminal. I figured. Encrypted data. Alliance Command. From Alliance Command. Commander, we've got the data you sent. If this went public, it could uh, do some serious damage to Cerberus' image. This intel will take years to decode, but just having it is a huge win for the Alliance. Well done, Shepard. Good luck on your mission. Anderson. Uh, hello from the Reds. From Finch. Shepard, we had a family on a colony that just got hit. I used some contacts with the Reds and and found a couple of people who said they could get you this message. You might not have much use for me. You spent too much time with the damn aliens pretending your time uh, time in the gangs back on Earth never happened. I know you weren't happy when I found you on the Citadel a couple of years back, but I'm glad you're on this. Uh, I hope you find whoever took my people in Freedom's Progress and kick their scaly asses. I'm glad it's a human fighting these bastards. I'm glad it's you. Do the Reds proud. A uh, gift of words from Consort Shaira. Commander. I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect, an embarrassing notion, but my contacts tell me you yet survive. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head towards an even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested, but now I fear you cannot rely only on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. Be well, Consul Shaira. Uh, from Chloe, Michelle, Dr. Michelle. Uh, Dear Commander Shepard, I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear of the destruction of the Normandy and those people who didn't make it, uh, make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I feared I'd never see you or Garrus again. You and he did so much to help clean up the wards when you uh, were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you and I'm glad you're still here to protect those of us who've grown to depend upon both of you. Is Garrus with you again by any chance? After being so happy to hear of your survival, I wonder if uh, perhaps he might have ended up with you. I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his mail, and I don't think the com address I had for him works anymore, because he hasn't returned any calls. Always so busy on his grand crusades. His great, pa his great passions that he focused on them to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. Anyway, if you know where he might be, I would really love to hear from him. Or both of you could come by next time you're near the Citadel. Thanks, Chloe Michelle. From Nala Butler. Commander Shepard. My husband was one of the men serving on Garrus' team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself. Only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part. And it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it's his fault. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus' squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honour. I miss him. God, I'd give anything to get him back. But whatever happened there was on Garrus' fault. You're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. And please don't tell him that I sent you this. Thank you, Nala Butler. How did you get this address? Who are you? <laughs> Requires iridium. Yeah. 
Okay. No messages for you, Commander. I need to feed my fish. My fish. If they're not already dead. Hey, they're still alive. No. Hey, I've been told you can feed my fish. Zaid recently. Okay. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with him. Anyway, what's up? Do you have a moment to talk? Can you feed my I fish? I have time for you, Commander. No, I guess I not. go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. All right, let's go back to Omega and hand this uh, data pad into Aria. Let's uh, see his appearances. Silver or wrecked blue. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Works for us all. Come on, let me in. Come on, go this way, just to get back at data pad. This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. We can I'll take any it. Help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? You look like you need to loosen up a little. I'm good. I'm good. Afford one of those upgrades down in the shop. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not the council offered its sympathy for credit that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Which one do I want? More shotgun damage or more health? Uh, let's grab the health. Now what's this? Because I feel like I'm struggling with that more. Close my curtain, bear with me.
Okay. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. You take care. No new messages. Otherwise, she'd have told me. I'll go talk to everyone before we go on to the next main mission. I think that's all we've really got left to do at the moment. Uh, I'll pick that up. That's fine. These two can wait for now. Um, yeah, everything else can wait for now. <clears throat> Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Shh. 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 Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. Oh, that, <laughs> that would be the problem. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I like every piece of dialogue between those two. Shepard, sort your fucking neck out. Oh, Commander. Can I help? Uh, thank you, Justice, for the follow. Shut up, computer. I really appreciate that. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. Okay. We'll talk later. Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Implications very unpleasant. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Implications concerning. Jacob is so boring. Y yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for him to sort of do something. And anything, really, just anything. Cover is the best way to protect yourself from enemy fire. Not getting shot is the best way to not lose health. You guys have nothing to say? No. That's the only reason I come in here. My doors are loud. Can we go back to having quiet doors? There you are. There I am. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. I have to say, that Jacob? Mm hmm. He seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a penchant for kleptomania. Go ahead. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. From all your spying. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. <clears throat> Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. That's why I bought them. If he hadn't, I would be deeply concerned. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Oh, those calibrations Talk can't wait. Later, I'll be here if you need me. He might like you, but he doesn't he doesn't talk, so prepare for that, Kasumi. He's just like I want to believe there's some backstory to him. I want to believe. How may I help you, Commander? There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way. I've trip. been through the reclaiming. Yeah, she just says I've the same thing. Full life. I'll see you okay. later, Commander. Doctor. <clears throat> Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. But they seem pretty wicked. 
Indeed. Then compensate. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors and the balance is back in line. There you go. See? You're Scottish. You can find a way. You believe it, but sometimes talking to him is like watching paint dry. Yeah, I guess. Back for another lesson. Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's where they send you. In there, you got two choices. Bash your head open on the wall, or kill everyone between you and the exit. What about just serving out your sentence? I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. Me too. We had this whole thing going, until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Okay. That's fine because I should go. Right, where's this this thing? I keep getting J doesn't open the journal anymore. Uh, do, 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 do. In the Faria system of the Hourglass Nebula. Onwards. Generally, the area I want to go anyway. Recruit the convict next. <clears throat> Alright, we'll explore Osen in a minute. Let's get this smuggled cargo first. Uh, ooh, that's far away. Ah, I got plenty. Oh, look at the t tiny little planet. That's so cute. It's little but rich. Launching probe. The M622 Avalanche Research Project? I don't know what the fuck that is. Jesus Christ, there's so much palladium here. Oh, for those of you who don't know the full extent of what I'm looking at because my dumb head is in the way, that's what this, whole, this right side of the screen looks like. This much empty space. Probe launched. Launching probe. Suddenly platinum. Probe away. And a shitload of it too. Launching probe. There we go. That's enough for me. This one's rich too. We're going to be here a while. Away. 
Searching probe. I'm never again going to struggle for palladium. Probe launched. Launching probe. I read somewhere that you want to go into Mass Effect with a hundred thousand of every fucking m mineral. And that's like, after you, you know, upgraded everything, you still want to like, get a hundred thousand before you finish the game, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who the fuck has the time? Exactly a great spike there. Oh, that is. Probe launched. Launching probe. Oh, wow. A double. I wonder if there's a planet anywhere that just, like, has a one vein that gives you maximum of everything. Another rich one, Jesus Christ. The system is, is great for resources. I think this is why Arya sent me here. She didn't send me here for like a, a cache of anything, just like all the resources on the planet. Launching probe. Found any element zero doing this though. Probe launched. Launching probe. Ooh, baby, a double. Empty space here. Probe launched. Probe away. I'm going to run out of probes. That's going to present a problem because I need a probe for the cache that I'm supposed to be picking up. Okay, well I've come all the way around now and uh, I'm still moderate, so... Picking up small spikes, nothing worth actually probing. <clears throat> okay. Probe launched. 
Hey, depleted on my last probe. Nice. Right, let's head out and get some more. Come on. If it wasn't something I really needed to do as desperately as, you know, every fucking time you come across a rich planet, I would be so much happier. But I have so many upgrades even now that I can't afford to do because I don't have the fucking materials. It's honestly disheartening when I've sent this many probes into a planet and it still says rich. I'm like, ugh! Probe away. Launching probe. Ten probes for this one planet. Probe away. Alright, what do you have for me, Red Planet? Every planet in this system is rich with resources. <laughs> Filthy rich with resources. This one is just absurdly rich with iridium. I still wonder though, why is there never element zero in these things? Empty space here. Launching probe. Launching probe. 
launching probe. Launching probe. Right. I have no doubts that the uh, last planet will uh, also be rich, so I'm going to go grab some more probes. And then once I've got whatever's smuggled onto this planet, I'm going to do some upgrades. I don't think I'll need to actually go down onto the planet to grab it. I think it's just a case of scan and launch a probe and it'll pick it up. Oh, I do have to land. Okay. Oh, this one's not even rich, it's just good. And there isn't a blip, okay. I guess we're landing. Right. Max? Really? Hmm. I have concerns. I'm on it. I thought you 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 were using the mattock. Why are you using the vindicator now? Okay, whatever. Oh man, what is this? So I get what I can save? That's nonsense. I picked the wrong weapon. That's not fair. That's not good. That's... Fair. Holy rockets! I just destroyed a crate. Stop shooting! You've got to reload sometime. Alright, let's get the other one's attention before it finishes destroying all of the crates. Hello. Take cover! No! Don't jump! You suck. this team. Guess I'm checking everyone's weapons because fucking Zaid was going in there with something he shouldn't have been using. I'm good.
Okay. Get out of the cover! Get out of- oh my god, this arena is fucking terrible. really want to sit there and charge that up. Stick with the missile launcher. Get out of cover. How is... Why is that missing? Just shoot it. Jesus Christ. Oh, that other one's shooting at me now. My missile launcher, my homing missile launcher that I was aiming directly at the mech missed twice. For some reason they're going for different crates this time. Okay, one more to go. Let's not fuck this up. I think he's already coming for me. Enemies in front. Here we go. Oh my god, that was rough.
Okay, I think I, I can't imagine there's anything to grab. Oh, there's some power cells. Glad I didn't come up here. His scan is totally fair. Just like two of my homing rockets missed. What the hell was that? That was just nonsense. I had to perform another full maintenance check. Sand keeps getting into our equipment, increasing the frequency of system checks. We have to be ready to shut this place down if anyone spots us from orbit. I want to drive that. Okay. I would have been fucked if all of those mechs were like attacking me all at the same time. I wonder if anyone's managed to save all 20 crates before, because that would just be madness. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Uh, nice work on Daratar, from Cerberus Command. Nice work, we knew Eclipse was housing valuable cargo on Daratar, but we couldn't land without fear of their mercs destroying the crates. We've wired the credits into your account. Damn glad to have you with us, Shepard. Yeah, well, you're... Your fears were correct. That's exactly what they started to do. Got to keep the fish alive. <clears throat> My main objective for this whole game is to keep those fish alive. All the way through. materials on that one. <clears throat> that seems like it would be useful. Do I have anything else that requires platinum? Advanced mineral scanner! It's going to speed things up significantly. What does this shoot? I think it just shoots like ice bombs. Leave that for now. Uh, make sure I get this first. And then we'll get that. So what am I missing for heavy bone weave? Another heavy skin weave, okay. Fair. Does the mass have an orbit? No, which means there's another planet that's in orbit to crash directly into the mass relay. Or not, it's just that the orbit didn't light up. That was weird. going to be rich, are they? Nope. 
percent. I'm missing something. Or is it the purgatory that I'm missing? Let's check. Uh, yep, it was that. I'm going to take the team that I was taken just now. Then that's fine. Hello. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. No. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiram, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. I'm not surrendering my gun. Period. Let them proceed. That's what I Our thought. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to our processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. Sounds we delightful. We put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. Oof. So it's an extortion racket? You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. James sounds is crazy sounds and fun. Very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Let's get on with this. Have there been escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. <laughs> We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. You're just gonna give me free reign of... I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. ...of the whole facility? Well, not the whole facility, but you're just gonna let me wander around? That seems... That seems dangerous and foolish. 
<clears throat> you don't even get good information that way. After a point, victims admit to anything to make the pain stop. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Oh, I'm sorry, did I ruin your fun? Hey! Hey guys, over here! Let me ask you something. I'm starting to notice a pattern with these prisoners. You buy me? Man, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, clothes, your... pride. Giggity. In a bad way. I haven't taken a shower in three months. Ugh. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. Oh, only about 20. I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. I should go. Wish I could go. This place is delightful. And everyone here is, uh, all the prisoners here are human, too. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. That doesn't seem like a race problem at all. No Turian prisoners, that's for sure. Something you want to say there, Blue Sons? Now processing's through the door on the far side of the room. Okay. That more looks more like a prison. A customer. <clears throat> Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Okay. Hostiles up ahead. Oh, dog. Really?
If we hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of cryo. I'm doing it. Be ready. It's a naked lady. That's Jack. She woke up fast. Get down there. Oh. Well, I'm actually going to end it there. <laughs> we'll uh, rescue Jack next time. Because I'm I'm starving. I want to get some food. And I've already been going for four hours, four and a half hours. So I will. Uh, I will end it there, and I will see you guys. Uh, there's not going to be a stream tomorrow. So. Okay. There's not going to be a stream tomorrow because I have plans in both the uh, afternoon and the evening, and I won't really have time to do a decent full-length stream. So, um, yeah. But uh, on Sunday, uh, I don't know. I might stream this. I might stream Greedful. Depends on what I'm in the mood for at the time. We'll see when the time comes. But for now, it's been a pleasure. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for stopping by, hanging out, lurking, chatting, whatever you've done here. It all goes towards a good cause. There's no charity or anything. I just The cause is, is company for me. That's about it. I hope you can contribute towards this cause again in the future. Until then, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful evening. I will see you next time. Take good care of yourself. Stay safe. Stay inside. And goodbye.